If you haven't done so yet, please make sure that you pause the video and try to answer the question on your own first before listening on. In order to calculate the concentration of this arsenic-3 ion that is present during this titration, we're going to follow a two-step approach. In step one, we're going to convert the milliliters of the KBrO3 into the number of moles of the arsenic ion. And then once we have the number of moles of the arsenic ion, we can quite easily calculate the molarity, aka molar concentration, because we know that the molarity of the arsenic ion would be the moles of the arsenic, which we'll calculate in step one. And then that will be divided by the number of liters of the arsenic solution. And that was actually given in the question, as we will see. So it's a two-step method. And in order to accomplish step one, we're going to follow a sort of roadmap that allows us to convert the milliliters of the KBrO3 into moles of the arsenic ion. Let's take a look at that roadmap. So we'll start out again with the milliliters of KBrO3, and our first step will be to convert that into the standard unit of liters. And as we will see, that's a simple standard unit conversion. Once we have the liters of the KBrO3, we can convert that into the number of moles of KBrO3. And to do that, we will be using the molarity of that substance. And we can already see from the question that that molarity was given right here. Finally, once we have the moles of KBrO3, we can easily convert that into the moles of the arsenic ion. And we'll do that using the coefficients from the balanced reaction. Fortunately, the balanced reaction was given to us. So we will see how we can use those coefficients in the last step along our roadmap. So let us begin with the number of milliliters of KBrO3, which was given as 23.35 milliliters. Some students prefer to put this initial quantity over a 1. And whenever we do a unit conversion, we'll be multiplying by a conversion factor. And the way that this works is if you have milliliters of K BrO3 as your initial quantity, then in the conversion factor, you're going to want to place that exact same unit in the denominator. So in other words, we will put milliliters of KBrO3 right here. And our roadmap shows us that we're trying to convert from milliliters into liters. So we'll place liters in the numerator. And the relationship between milliliters and liters, of course, is that one milliliter is equivalent to 10 to the negative 3 liters. So once we set up that initial conversion factor, we can cancel out the milliliters. And then we'll move along and convert the liters into moles. And for that, we shall use the molarity. Now, again, the molarity is given as 0 0.105 molar. Let's not forget that molar is equivalent to moles per liter. So we can set this conversion up as follows. Since we have liters of KBrO3 in the numerator, we will place liters of that substance in the denominator. And this way they will cancel out in just a moment. And then in the numerator, since we're converting into moles, we shall place that unit. The molarity tells us again that 0 0.105 moles exist in one liter. So you would put 0 0.105 moles in the numerator, and then one liter in the denominator. We can go ahead and cancel out the liters. Finally, we're going to convert, as our roadmap shows us, from moles of this KBrO3 into moles of the arsenic ion. So by now, we know that we should place the moles of KBrO3 in the denominator so that it will cancel, and then the moles of the arsenic ion go in the numerator. And our roadmap tells us that we use the coefficients from the balanced reaction. So we can see that one mole of the BrO3 ion will react with, let's see, three moles of the arsenic ion. That's a little tricky to see, I suppose. But since the question is asking us 
to determine the concentration of arsenic, it would make most sense to choose this substance because it's this substance that contains the arsenic ion right there. And we can see that the coefficient of that substance is 3. So in other words, one mole of the BrO3 ion will react with three moles of the arsenic ion. So we can put a 3 here and a 1 there. We'll pick up our calculators after canceling out the moles. And we'll type this all in to get the number of moles of arsenic ion. And when we do that, we should get approximately 0 0.00736 moles of the arsenic ion. And that will complete step one of this solution. In the second step, we have to calculate the molarity. And so we will take a look at that formula that we wrote above. The molarity of the arsenic ion will equal the moles of the arsenic divided by the liters of arsenic. Now, the moles of arsenic we've already obtained. We just calculated that in step one. As for the liters, we go back to the given information and we can see that there are 50.5 milliliters of the arsenic solution. Notice that's in milliliters. So in fact, on the side here, let's take the 50.50 milliliters of the solution and we'll do a little unit conversion here. We know that one milliliter is 10 to the negative three liters, as we noted above. So if you punch that into your calculator, you would get 0 0.0505 liters of the arsenic solution. So this will be plugged into the denominator, and then the moles will be plugged into the numerator. So we'll take those moles that we calculated in step one and then divide by the liters of the arsenic solution. And when we put that into our calculator, finally we will obtain the molarity, and that turns out to be approximately 0.146. And you can say moles per liter, since we divided those two quantities, or more commonly, you'll use the unit capital M for molarity.